Hey, how are you doing? I'm back. This is uh, Pastor Paris Parker. Paris Parker, the CEO of Fountain of Life Publishers House. You welcome to get any one of my inspirational books. www.pariseparker.biz. www.pariseparker.biz. I want to discuss something because I'm doing a book on it as well. You know, the Obama and the Trump. Mm, a lot of people have been talking about it. And a lot of people, they're angry and they're mad because, oh, Trump won and Hillary didn't win. Uh, but they don't realize what's really going on. It's, it's, it's spiritual. It's, it's nothing to play with. But one thing that uh, one thing that Obama did uh, that, that that was not fair is that um, he legalized same-sex marriages. That's the abomination against God. That that mocked God through the nations to legalize. It's like God, who cares? It's like stepping on him. Uh, it's, it's it's like stomping him in his face. It's like throwing the word out of the window because he approved of it. And everyone that's routing for him, they're proving for it. Because you're stomping on God's face, you're stomping on the word of God. When he disagreed with same-sex marriages, a marriage should be between a man and a woman. That's an abomination against God. A male and a male? No. A female and female? No. It stops. People don't understand. Even like the enemy, he's gotten into a lot of women uh, to stop them from being able to uh, carry that baby. Because guess what? They He took the desire of man out of that woman so that that woman cannot multiply. And he's trying to stop the seed. He's trying to stop more Jacobs and, 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 and more Davis and, 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 and more Johns and more Luke's and with the characteristics. And he's trying to stop their birth. Mm. People don't understand what's really going on. And it's, it's sad because a lot of a lot of believers, a lot of church going, a lot of Christians, a lot of uh fivefold ministries, uh, all the people they always the Lord this and the Lord that and you go against and you rooting for the you rooting for the main one. They don't even care about the word that we preach. They disown him in front of nations publicly and sign that bill. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And you talking about a new world order? Come on now. We had a president and when I seen the inauguration of the Trump, I was like, why is the White House not blended? This man did eight years. There are so many well-educated, college-educated degrees, masters, bachelors. Why, why is the White House not blended? United States blended. Why is the White House not blended? Took me all the way back in time when the butler was standing there with the water. Oh, I thought I went 60 years back. And it wasn't Trump's fault. I blame that on Obama because when he was in there, he had the opportunity to put more of us in the White House. To vote us in and to get us on his team, but he didn't. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't. Maybe that law wouldn't have been passed if more of us would have been in there. Literally, I mean, would have said, uh-uh, no, we probably stopped bleeding the blood of Jesus, speaking in tongues and everything, you know, not picking on us, anything like that. But you know how we get sometimes. But you all need to stop parading that mess because you're hurting God's feeling. you say, saying, God, I agree with this man that went against your word to rule for same-sex marriages. So when they be having a gay rights parade, you might as well be there with you, your grandchildren, all y'all getting that parade in March because that's what you vote for. That's what you're praying for. That's what you're doing, still say, doing these March for. And every time you promote him, that's what you're promoting. See, we have to be careful because guess what? Guess what? That, 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 little, uh, that little beast, Mark of the Beast, it comes in many different forms, and that's one of the forms. People are so, they don't realize that that was the mark of a beast. Even the people that wanted to come out, that was planning and trying to get out of that lifestyle, when he approved it, it just gave them more the right to stay in. They say, okay, I guess everybody's agreeing with it, and that's okay. So that's more souls, not being able to practice living right, Living in obedience, sacrificing, and when they take their last breath, that's going to be more souls. We say, I know you're not, you worker of iniquity. And they won't get the opportunity to get that address up in heaven 
Because once you go down there, once once you take your last breath and you go down there, there's no more life opportunity. So that's when he give us life, he give us the opportunity to get it right now. So see, even though when he was in presidency, how many of our communities did he go and clean up a neighborhood or help participate? Or be that father figure. Get them, get, get, get the right marches going, get the right acts going. We're, we're make more awareness for our people where they will change, come to their senses. Do you know how many black young men that don't have father figures? But do you know how many nonprofit organizations that need the help, that need the funds to just get started? That would be that father figure, that would be that parenting tool that that young boy, young girl needs. That, 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 that have that plan for college that, that will be able to help make more people aware about certain things, sexual transmitted diseases and whatever they need to learn in colleges and, and, and training. And do you realize how many nonprofit organizations or even smaller ministries that could really help, that could have used the funds, $221 million that he sent over to Pakistan the eve of Donald Trump inauguration. He could have sent $221 million to Africa. But he's going to send $221 million to Pakistan. And he see our countries over there in the need. Of a need. What have Pakistan ever done for the United States? That was like a blow in the gut, in the head, and in the hiney. It was wrong. That's your money, my money, our taxpayers' money. Do you know how many homeless people it is in America? Do you know how many people that are being evicted right now in the United States of America that that money could have helped? Or do you know? It's sad. It's real sad that our president did us that wrong. But that's the president everybody loves so much. He approved same-sex marriages that's going to have repercussions, literally meaning now our taxpayers have to provide some other bathrooms for transgenders. And just because somebody parents may have money to change their sex, get them a sex change before age, uh, then they're going to be able to have the right that was born a boy to go into the girl's bathroom in school, in public schools. This is what you approve. When we're eating out, they have the right to go to the bathrooms with our children. They could be a pedophile. We don't know. We don't know. Just because they have the body parts for what born. Come on now. It's wrong. But this is what we did. This is what Obama this is what Obama approved of. And he gave our money. It's over 564, 708,000 homeless people in the United States. But he sent $21 million, $21 million in the eve of the inauguration of Donald Trump. Trump being presidency. $21 million of our hard-earned money that we didn't have the right. He could have picked some white families, some black families, some even some Hispanic families, some Caucasian families, some uh, Japanese families in America that are citizens and gave that money to. He could have picked some nonprofit organizations, some churches. He could have picked some homeless people. He could have picked St. Jude's Hospital. He could have picked any nationality, any organization to give those funds to. But he decided. To give $221 million to the Pakistans. Mm. And that's the president that you hate that's going out of the White House. That took jobs away from you, your children. You may be retired, but guess what? Your grandchildren need a job. That your great grands going to need a job. But you voted for that and you want that. And it's a sad shame. I didn't get a part of that $221 million. What bill do you have due right now? 
that you could have enjoyed that $221 million? Do you have food in your house? Do your children have food in their house? Well, he just took all of that food out of our house. You know, grocery probably costs what? Per household, I'm just going to say an average household about five to $700 per month. And he took 221 million. Do you know how many people that could have fed? How many families that could have fed in the United States? Do you know how many schools that could have upgraded in the United States? Do you know it's almost 600 million homeless people in the United States? Do you know how many homes that could have bought? Or even shelters. It could have started with an end homelessness right then and there. Thanks to President Obama for supplying same-sex gay marriages. Given $221 million. That's just a chunk of the money. Not including the rest of the money. So eight terms. I mean, eight years he been in there that he sent over to the foreigners. Why don't you do your own research? Remember, that's the president that everybody hating left the White House. Glad he gone. <clears throat> don't stop yet. Uh, and I also want to remind everyone uh, that uh, we say that Obama is for the blacks, amen, our first typical black uh, African-American uh, president, amen, of the United States of America, amen, I asked the question, amen, out of two terms, mm -hmm. out of two terms, uh,